The man set up his sniper rifle, and an armor-piercing bullet flew out of the muzzle. The bullet flew at high speed, and the air swirled around the bullet's head, which was powerful enough to penetrate 1,000mm steel plates. The bullet flew towards the man. He turns into alien matter, and the bullet is bounced right off. The sniper is amazed that the man's body can turn into any material. He touches diamonds and his hands turn into diamond material. The man touches the ground with his hands on the road and his body instantly turns into steel and concrete. The car hit the man. The car flipped sideways and flew out hundreds of meters away. Such a big impact, the car was directly destroyed. The man intercepted the car for this obelisk. The obelisk possessed mysterious power. It could not be easily touched, otherwise it would be eroded. The man did not want to be eroded by the obelisk. He touched the tire with his hand to turn his hand into a rubbery material and then took away the obelisk. The man underestimates the power of the obelisk and inside the restaurant. The man checks his hand and realizes that it has been eroded by the obelisk. The waiter accidentally touches the man's hand and it is like being electrocuted. He concludes that this is the power of the obelisk and the waiter doesn't care thinking it's static electricity. Waitress hand began to petrify because she touched the man's hand. The man took the obelisk. She was indirectly eroded by the power of the obelisk and finally she petrified and died. The man doesn't want to be petrified. He inhibits the obelisk's erosion. The man holds the metal object. His arm turns to metal, but the erosion of the square tablet continues. The man grips the leather. The erosion continues. The man doesn't give up. He switches to fabric. Still no use. He despairs. Reina appears out of nowhere. The alien ring on her hand is six times harder than a diamond, a substance that removes the erosion from the man's hand. Reina asks the man to exchange the ring for the obelisk. The man refuses and snatches the alien ring. However, the man falls for Reina's trap. A tracker is installed inside the ring. Oh, hey, Tai, oh, he. Agents learn the information and lock onto the location. Oh, hey, Tai, oh, he. Is monitoring the man's movements and realizes that the man is ready to trade the obelisk. Cypher thought of the man in order to take the obelisk, stopping a car and running over his companion. He took the sniper rifle and decided to take out the man to avenge his companion. He aims at the man and quickly fires. The man sees the bullets flying towards him and quickly touches the alien ring, and his body turns into alien matter. The sniper is scared by the man and throws down his gun to escape. The man chases after him. Raina takes the opportunity to take the obelisk. Raina touches the obelisk without being eroded and is able to control the power of the obelisk. The man breaks through the glass and catches up to the sniper. The sniper picks up a fire extinguisher and attacks him. He's thrown right off by the man, who reaches out with his mutated palm towards the bearded man. Mac pokes the pulser into the man's back, and the man's body begins to transform into a different material as it brings the man under control. S. H. A. A. L. D. Director Mac hands the man over to the police for custody, hoping that the police will see what S. H. I. E. L. D. can do. Instead, the police say that your S. H. I. E. L. D. capabilities are too weak. Mac doesn't hide it anymore and releases the stealth fighter, and the police finally realize that they seem to be wrong.